Can I ask you if you're at the doorway to come in? We're about to get started. Let me welcome you to our anniversary concert. Nigel and Julie um, is going to bless us, and I'm sure when you leave here, you won't, you'll be different from when you came in. We're celebrating 99 years since we have started the work here. I came along you know, after the first couple of years, and I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> but God has been here right from, in fact, God was here before we started here. And he's been gracious, he's been faithful, he's just been amazing. And so many souls have come through these doors and are now in glory. And we give God thanks for his faithfulness. Let me read a few verses to you from Psalm 111. And then Nigel and Julie is just going to play and sing great, uh, I mean, faithful one. Okay, let me read some verses to you. Great are the works of the Lord. They are pondered by all who delight in them. Glorious and majestic are his deeds, and his righteousness endures forever. He has caused his wonders to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. He provides food for those who fear him. He remembers his covenant forever. He has shown his people the powers of his works, giving them the lands of their nations, the work of his hands are faithful and just. All his precepts are trustworthy. They are established forever and ever, enhanced in faithfulness and uprightness. Please. Amen. This is a song hopefully you'll know. Pastor Glenn uh, has asked if we can sing this, start our concert singing this. Um, I don't know if the words will appear, but if they don't... Um, Faithful one, you're so unchanging. Ageless one, you're my rock of peace. Lord of all, I depend on you. I call out to you again and again. You're my rock in time of trouble. You lift me up when I fall down, all through the storm. And haven't we had a few storms in these last few years? Your love is the answer. My hope is in you alone. Let's begin by joining in together if you know this song. Faithful one, so unchanged.
let's come to God in prayer. God of our fathers, our God, our Lord Jesus Christ, as we come to you this evening to say thank you for your faithfulness, we confess our own unfaithfulness. But because of your love, you have remained faithful down through the years. And we want to thank you in particular for the past two years, how you have shown your faithfulness in so many different ways. Amen. And this evening as we have come aside to worship you, to praise you, and to revel in your grace and mercy and your provision, we pray that by the power of your Holy Spirit, not only will you enable Nigel and Julie to, to glorify you and as we, we share that joy, but you will stand among us revealing your truth and your love for all humanity. We ask now that you would have your way among us and heighten our joy as we share in this time together, saying thank you for all you have done and being, Lord, emboldened by what you have done that you will never leave us alone. Hear our prayer and have mercy upon us. For we ask all these things for your glory and your kingdom's sake. Amen. 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 Let's give Nigel and Julie a welcome as they... Amen. Thank you so much. So wonderful. <laughs> I heard the voice of Jesus say, Come unto me. Thirsty ones 
stoop down and drink and live. And I came to Jesus and I drank from that life-giving stream. My thirst was quenched, my soul revived, and now I live in Him. I came to Jesus and I drank from that life-giving stream. My thirst was quenched, my soul revived, and now I joy a bit of Celtic joy to uh, this evening hopefully you can join in and feel about that Celtic joy because uh, this weekend is all about joy it's all about uh, the joy of God's faithfulness for 99 years in this place here how amazing is that a century of, of, of God's love and care being uh, sent out from this place how amazing is that and of course the joy that will culminate tomorrow morning as we celebrate resurrection life and resurrection hope in uh, out of the most dark 
and uh, deepest darkness of the tomb and death, which for many people, that's really how their life feels right now. Uh, so there's a lot of need for this message of joy and hope. So hopefully we can share a little bit uh, of that. Now you can hear that I'm uh, not Irish. Uh, I'm not from, uh, I'm actually a Brummie and I'm just, yeah. 15 minutes down the road and my mum is here so we've got a fan tonight come on my mum Jean but I do have an Irish granny don't I my, um, your, your granny was an Irish lady from Dublin Teresa McCarthy who used to sing beautiful folk songs which is obviously where I get the Irish um, you know it resonates with me but uh, we do have an authentic Irishman yes, here tonight we as do well. and um, this next song we're going to sing, it's actually a traditional hymn, but we, what we like to do with our, our little Celtish um, idea is, is sometimes put some really amazing uh, lyrics to some really amazing different melodies. And this one is, is probably one of the most famous Irish um, airs, really. Raglan Road is the tune. But we came across these words during lockdown, in heavenly love abiding, and it's all about change and not being afraid of the changes that we're all going through and putting our hope and trust in God. And there's a little mashup with another uh, traditional hymn in this as well, which you'll spot. Uh, so this is um, In Heavenly Love About It.
Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. These things you have to do immediately, otherwise you run your mouth on the floor. There we go. But I'm not playing this now, am I, Nigel? That's correct. Else. So, um, <laughs> yes, coming from Ireland, um, I've always loved uh, the melodies um, written by Irish people and there's, there's a guy that, whose music I fell in love with in the 1980s, a guy called Divi Spillane and he was the piper, he plays this instrument called the Irish pipes, the, the Ulian pipes, not to be confused with the Scottish bagpipes, although they're quite similar. And he actually played in the original River Dance. And what I loved about that show, we went to actually see it on the 20th anniversary tour in Dublin on our honeymoon. But what I loved about that um, musical Richard, was... By the way. <laughs> <laughs> it was as much a celebration of music and music fusing different cultures from different nations together as it was about dance. And at one point, Davy Spillane came on with his, his you know, really organic-looking instrument and played this gorgeous melody. Now, I've adapted it uh, from the pipes to a whistle. Uh, and it's called Midnight Walker. So maybe you might want to imagine you're just out on the streets at midnight, just collecting your thoughts. I don't know why you would be doing that, but <laughs> on a nice beach or something. And th maybe this might evoke something. Yeah, bring you into a place of peace in the midst of the storm.
going to take you into another psalm now. This was our go-to psalm during uh, all the time of the lockdown. Um, and it's a really beautiful Irish tune called... Women of Ireland. The women of Ireland. So the women of Birmingham, rise up and join the women of Ireland uh, in, in this, in this um, our version of, of uh, Psalm uh, 84. That's right, um, isn't it? 20. 27. Sorry, 84 comes later. <laughs> I knew there was 84 somewhere happening tonight. 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation.
play this? Oh, I do. Oh, now. Everyone okay out there? Yes. Good, 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 good. Can you explain uh, this? Uh, there might be a little bit of distortion coming out from the speakers. Maybe the, 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 the house system needs to be turned down a little bit. Uh, but, um, but can you hear okay? Great. Um, well, I discovered during lockdown, we, uh, we made an album during lockdown called Home, even though we weren't living at home. Because I think really due to the faithfulness of God and the generosity of my mother-in-law sitting in the second row, um, we had already rented our house out, literally just a few months before lockdown, because we were traveling so much. And then what happened? All of our traveling stopped. All of our concerts were canceled. All of our income stopped. But our bills were being paid, hallelujah, by someone else. <laughs> and what do musicians and songwriters do when they've got all this time in their hands? Now, I know that time for a lot of people was very, very difficult, but for us, we were creative, we did lots of things, and one of the things we did was make another album, and we called it Home, and many of the songs, some of which we played already, reminding us of our eternal home, and, and um, uh, I have a friend in Belfast who plays some of the beautiful acoustic guitar that you're about to hear, and he had written this beautiful melody, and I said to him, you know what, maybe we could put some lyrics to that, but I actually found uh, a hymn all about our beautiful home in heaven, and I put it to, to Phil's beautiful music and added some, some other things to it. So um, hopefully uh, you can just go to that place where, where we know we're all going to meet our loved ones, um, and it'll be a beautiful home. Right. And Julie's going to attempt to, um, to play this instrument at the start and then pass it to me for me to play at the end. So it'll be a miracle if that works. Yes, it will be a miracle. It's, <laughs> it's called a tongue drum. It's, anyway... Anyway, we'll see. <laughs> Oh. 
while you're doing that. So uh, that hymn talked about, um, you know, the beautiful home like a flowing ocean tide. Uh, and this next tune is a little slip jig that Julie's going to play. And it's actually called Out on the Ocean. Brilliant. So come with me out on the boats. I know we're a very, very long way from the sea in Birmingham, um, but we can dream, can't we? We can dream. He used to live two minutes away from Strangford Loch and, and, the, and the Irish Sea. Was it the Irish Sea? Yes, it was the Irish Sea. It was the Irish Sea. <laughs> There's only one sea, really, isn't there? Oh, there we go. But Strangford Loch was where I lived. I know. Anyway, here we go. We're going on a boat. Talk to one Can another. You stand on your feet, have a wiggle around, um, we'll find a loo if you need it, and we'll come back. Do in, another 20, 25 minutes yeah, or so, and, and, and then uh, we'll have some nice refreshments. After. Exactly. But there's a bit of Celtic joy to open the a second half with, so um, do come back when you hear the music starting again. <laughs> <laughs>
so we're going to just start to play so uh, if you can resume your seats while we're playing that would be amazing
Let me tell you a wee story about that. <laughs> Some of you might be traumatized by that, but no, ho hopefully not. <laughs> But um, I used to love a guitar player who was born in Belfast called Gary Moore. Don't know whether anybody remembers him. Nah, but um, sorry. anyway, all too young. Um, all too young. I, uh, he's probably part of the reason why I discovered Celtic music. You may think that just because I'm from Ireland, that Celtic music would be flowing out of me, but it doesn't always work that way. But um, that little melody was in my head um, from I was in my twenties and. Uh, when I was in my 50s, we decided to put it on an album yeah. and we got all these wonderful people collaborating with us. Um, now, the next song, we're, you want to say something about it? Um, Brendan? Yes. I yeah. So. Well, um, we have uh, played a lot of Celtic music and we tell the stories of a lot of the Celtic saints, the, the, the men and women that, that um, really turn these islands upside down with life. Uh, in the early centuries after uh, Jesus uh, was born. And one uh, such guy was a man called Brendan, St. Brendan. Um, and he used to uh, look at, at the sea and he used to wonder, what if there is more um, over the ocean? What if there are more lands? What if this is not the ends of the earth? What if there is, there are, there is more? And he sailed on a boat uh, away from his beloved uh, island and uh, legend has it that he actually reached America and uh, it was proved in the 1970s somebody built a boat uh, the same sort of boat that Brendan would have had and proved that he could have actually got across to America but he wrote a prayer which was an absolutely amazing prayer uh, of, of real faith whatever is unknown uh, in the future uh, I can trust my God and um, we decided to to set this prayer to music and there's a little bit in the middle that we can all join in with a, a few a, lie line la, la, lie lie la, lie which I'm gonna want you all to join in on yeah yeah, yeah. but um, we, we were very fond of Brendan because it was Brendan's story that convinced Nigel to get in a boat and leave Ireland um, for England to get married to me, so I was very grateful for that. It was the Liverpool ferry. Um, yes, I, have I to was tell very you. grateful. It, was it wasn't a little coracle. It yeah. was the Liverpool ferry. <laughs>
this my native land.
and a lovely blessing. Yes. Sorry about that. We uh, we we should have rehearsed that. Oh, never mind. We uh, we're we're only human, you know. We're here to have lots of fun. Yeah, nobody knows. Uh, so uh, so um, yeah. Yes, um, we're about to have some gorgeous food, and I know it's going to be gorgeous because I've been tipped off that this church always has gorgeous food, so I'm quite excited to be honest. But anyway, I want to, we uh, are so grateful that you've invited us to be part of this incredibly special weekend amongst you guys uh, who have just got, there's so much warmth, there's so much love in this building, and um, we are so happy that we're able to come and serve you and join in with your celebrations but we do want to bless you we want to bless you with a blessing that's really 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 powerful and I don't say that because we're uh, you know for any ego reasons I say it because it's a blessing not from us uh, it's through us from God himself because the blessing we want to sing to you is from the words of God himself he said to Moses say to Aaron uh, bless the people with these very words um, every single day of their journey through the desert. So it may feel like you've been in a bit of a desert, it may feel like you're still there, um, but this is a blessing uh, from the very mouth of God. And what is a blessing? It's God's intention towards us, it's his heart's intention towards us. So we know that this is his intention towards each and every one of us. Um, and when I've sung this in English, uh, I'm just going to sing it briefly um, in the Bible language of Hebrew. So, because Hebrew is so much um, richer and deeper than our English languages, uh, each word means so much more than just the English one. So, I want to bless you to make sure we're all thoroughly blessed before we enjoy our fellowship together. So, here we go with Aaronic Blessing.
Have you enjoyed that? Yes. Yeah. Let's give thanks and then we're going to go through and have some food. Father, thank you for this day, for the time we have shared together, for the blessing that Nigel and Julie has brought to us. We pray that you would cause that blessing to continue to flow, that as we meet together tomorrow, you'll be evident among us in your risen power. So we ask now, bless the food, bless those who have provided, prepared, and are about to serve. May we together, as part of your body, continue to enjoy this fellowship. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And also, just to say, in the place where there is food, if you've enjoyed the music and want to take it home with you, uh, we have got some CDs, and um, you can buy two um, for 15 instead of one for ten. So just to let you know, if you want to take music home, we've got a car machine and everything, so um, do ask us. Okay. Please feel free to go through and enjoy some food.